Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This evening uh, I'm going to do my initial impressions of the Blackland Blackbird. Now I like the weight of this razor, this is stainless steel. Uh, so I'm not going to try to compare this to the Timeless because I've been using that for the past couple of shaves. Now since this is the very first time using the Blackbird, I did go with WSP as per my usual. And the soap this evening is uh, Black Orchid in the rustic formula. So this is a beautiful scent based off of Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Just an absolutely fantastic scent. I'm very happy they were able to bring this back. And as soon as I heard they were bringing it back, I instantly bought it. Uh, although I didn't get the splash because at the time I didn't have the cash for the splash. But anyway, uh, the brush this evening is the Simpsons Chubby 2 Synthetic. Whipped up the beautiful lather here in the copper cabin choice bowl. Now, just like my last video, uh, where I did my first initial impressions with the Timeless. Uh, now, unlike that video, I'm using a brand new blade. Uh, I did put the same type of blade from the same tuck in both razors. It is a Gillette Silver Blue. So I've used that in the Timeless. I think I've done one or two shades with that with that blade, and then I put a brand new Gillette Silver Blue in the uh, in the Blackbird. Now, if you cannot get Midnight, or, uh, <laughs> see where I'm going with this one. If you can't get the Black Orchid, like I said, I don't know if this is going to bring it back. Uh, you can get a Midnight Dreary from Kay's Bubbles. It's based off the same scent. Both smell amazing. Both have amazing performance. Uh, I love Kay's Bubbles and WSP. All right, so, first use of the Black Land... Blackbird. Uh, this is the polished stainless with a brand new Gillette Silver Blue Blade. Now I have also heard that this razor can be a little more finicky to find the proper angle and maybe maintain it, but we'll see. So far so good. There does seem to be a little bit of more blade fill with the Blackbird. The knurling on this handle is very, very nice. Definitely more blade fill underneath the nose. Definitely a lot more audio feedback too. But this isn't bad. What I'm looking forward to now, I mean, of course, finishing this shave. Because I do, I love this scent. Thank you again, WSP, for bringing this back. I kind of had my expectations set a little bit lower for this. Just off of some conversations I can speak tonight. That I've had with some people. I can say, however, that I'm very pleasantly surprised with that first pass. How does it compare to the Timeless thus far? I don't know, they're both good. Cock out anyone? But seriously, I mean, they're both premium razors. Uh, obviously this one's stainless steel compared to the titanium. 
Now I do plan on doing, as I mentioned in my last video, kind of two side-by-side -side comparisons, just so I can shave both sides of the face with the razor and the and have the same use number of use blade in there from the same tuck. I might not do it with this silver blue blade because I plan on using the black bird a few more times, the times a few more times. before I get to that comparison. But I can say, so far on that first pass, uh, I didn't have much of a problem finding that angle. Or maintain that angle. The audio feedback is quite nice. I like that in the razor. <laughs> the addition of the blade feels also quite nice. If you like seeing the steel, I think this is a really good one to go with as well. I want to see if the stainless steel matte finish is, I think, 180. And I believe the titanium is kind of up there in the same price range as the timeless. I didn't look at that came out, it was kind of here and gone. <laughs> really fast. I do have a friend that has the titanium uh, saber. Not oh, saber. Thinking about my goat. The titanium blackbird. And he loves it. So much so that he's getting rid of his silver uh, stainless. I think this would be an excellent razor in titanium as well. I know some people don't like the heft of stainless steel. That's where that titanium kind of really comes into play. I'm blooping. I almost missed my sink. But I got the rim, so we're good. All right, third and final pass with maybe a little bit of cleanup. I have plenty of that left over. Against the grain, we'll see how this really goes. That is smooth. It's really nice. Tons of stubble on here already. I like this handle. The design of the handle makes it very easy to grip, even when wet. I wouldn't even call this knurling. It's just it's kind of carved down into there. So that just makes it really easy to grip when wet. All right, that was slightly uncomfortable, if I'm being 100% honest there. Just the uh, angle on that against the grain was just slightly off and that, a little bit. Yes, I could definitely tell it was off. But, no weepers. So that was a good thing.
that is smooth. That is very nice. Ooh, that is very nice. Of course, the soap, just WSP. You gotta see more. I don't think I need to say more. Yeah, I'm wondering if the Gillette Super Blues are not the best pairing of blade for this razor. It's a little tuggy on the against the grain. Just on the chin. Now I did mention this is a brand new blade in here, so it's not maybe it's a, a dud blade. We'll see. But the against the grain portion was a little more rough down here, as if the blade were older. So we'll, we'll see what the next couple of shades bring. See so under the nose. That does feel quite nice. Now that I was able to uh, get that okay, feeling around, usual troll spots. Try to clean it up a little bit. Overall, it's a very nice shave. Um, I wouldn't say it's as the smoothest I've gotten with the, especially with that against the green pass there on the chin. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to say that's because of the razor that could be with the blade that was used. So, initial impressions still on the, uh, the blackbird here are favorable. Quite a few of quite a few. I can't talk tonight. Quite a few of my friends have the Blackbird, and they all speak very highly of it. A couple of them have it in brass, in stainless, in titanium. And all of them do speak highly of the razor. I can see why. The polish is kind of nice. I like that. It's also a little distracting because I can see it reflecting in the in the screen on my phone. Now, one thing I'm sure some people are asking when they look at the uh, the Blackbird is compared to like this nice shiny stainless compared to like the matte finish on. The saber here, is there any difference in drag? Well, I know I'm comparing an SE to a DE, apples and oranges, but the finish on these, the weight, this is a little bit heftier, the handle's thicker, um, but I've never felt any significant drag because of the finish on the saber. Uh, I do also have the Mercur Futur. Kind of in that matte finish and I don't notice any, any drag with that razor either. So in my limited experience I don't believe that a matte finish versus a solid finish will affect the drag anything too much because it really all comes down to the soap and how slick the soap is. But anyway that is a shave. Um, 
That's really comfortable. I'm just gonna rinse off real quick and do some witch hazel. I'll finish up with everything post shave off camera. Look, filling around. My usual spots where I have a little bit of sucked over like down here in the corner of my neck, that's always really weird to get. Unless I can get my head in a certain right way and So I feel like I may have had to do a slightly more pickups with this, but again, could be I have a, a dud blade, so who knows? So I'll just quick rinse. I'll do the witch hazel and all that stuff off camera. Um, initial impressions on the Blackbird are favorable. If you're looking for a stainless razor that's premium, in my opinion, it's definitely worth looking at. Uh, at least off of the very first shave. And of course, I'm gonna do a few more shaves with it to see how, how everything kind of pans out with it. And then I'll compare this to this. And we'll see which which one wins, <laughs> I guess, in my book. But anyway, thank you guys again for tuning in, and I'll catch you all next time.